Hi, so in this video, I'm going to talk about seed coating with biostimulants. So the two that we've chosen here are mycorrhizal spores and chitosan. So a symbiotic fungus and a fungicide and a bioplastic to coat those spores onto the seeds. I've done it on carrot seeds because that was the request by, from my customer. So they've asked for 5 million carrot seeds to be coated. So we've got 5 million carrot seeds for the mycorrhizal fungi, the chitosan in the soluble concentrate, and a sprayer, and that all goes into a cement mixer. It looks very Heath Robinson, but actually that's the best method for coating seeds unless you get to really high volumes. Um, in this video, I'm wearing PPE because um, nothing's hazardous, but you can become sensitized and get an allergic reaction to microbial, anything microbial, so bacteria and fungi. So if you get that sensitization, you can never work with them ever again. So you have to be careful. Um, and also there's a lot of dust involved. So wearing a respirator is always good. Using Nairobi carrot seeds, because they're very common. F1, untreated, but primed. Um, this is what the customers requested. Um, obviously you don't want to be coating the seeds twice. So just make sure you get uncoated seeds. Five million seeds of carrots fits well into a cement mixer. And it's um, it's about eight, 10 kilos. And a Symbio M is in a Czech Republic company that we get our fungi, fungal spores from and fungal propagules. Um, really good product company. I'd recommend them, go direct to them. You don't need to come through me. Um, so this is the, the concentrated spores in their pure form. Um, can get a bit dusty, so that's bear that in mind. Um, and if your uh, drilling machine suffers with dust problems, then um, that's something to consider, but half a kilo into this uh, 11 kilos of carrot seeds, you add it. Then you add the, uh, quickly add the, the chitosan solution to, uh, and that will dampen down any dust anyway, and seal it all in. Chitosan is a viscous liquid. It's approved for use in the EU and the UK as a biofungicide. Um, and you dilute that down. So we applied about two liters um, to these carrot seeds. And that was about 200 mils of product in the diluted form. You do have to uh, give it a good shake. It is fully soluble, but it being viscous like honey, um, you know, there's always an issue getting it into water. Um, use a backpack sprayer and that respirator, and then just coat them. Into, uh, don't let them get moist as such, but just when you squeeze them, they'll be a bit wet. You don't want your seeds clumping together um, because that might start the germination process off. Then use an industrial dryer like this one to dry them off for a couple of hours afterwards uh, until they get that, that, that dry, almost dusty state, and then they'll be good to go. The quicker you do this, um, sorry, the closer you do this, to sewing the better, just because it can make sure you maintain that viability, just in case there is some residual moisture on them, but um, I'm confident that we drive these down well enough. There are other biostimulants that you can coat uh, seeds with. You can coat with um, seaweed extracts, um, uh, which are great, so just make sure they're not too alkaline. Um, you can coat with bacteria and things like humic acid, but again, make sure they're not too alkaline. Um, we like chitosan because it's anionic, so it sticks to the seed really well. It's allowed to be used as a biofungicide and a biostimulant in the EU and the UK, so that's really good. And it also it helps seal in things like the fungal spores. So, um, and also it allows you to get a fungicide into the soil, which normally they're foliars. Um, you can use them on seed potatoes as well. So you can dip seed potatoes in a dilute solution of fungicide. Um, and also because it's mildly acidic, it helps with things like scab. Any questions on seed coating? Um, let me know. There are large companies that do seed coating, but you need large volumes. Things like cereal farmers use these uh, quite often, and they often won't seed coat things like niche crops like carrots. Um, but um, the cement mixer is a great method if you want to do it yourself. So um, uh, leave comments, and um, um, hope you like this video.